I actually didn't find my first peanut until I was 23 years old. It feels so good to finally say that out loud. I used to be so embarrassed to tell people that I lived 23 years without owning a peanut, but then just last year I was walking through a peanut farm and I decided to turn my gaze downward and there in the grass was a peanut, just for me. Growing up, it was really hard for me to go to school and act like a normal kid, all while knowing that I didn't own a peanut. It got really easy for me to just put on a fake smile and pretend everything was okay, even though I was falling apart on the inside, knowing that I had a peanut-shaped hole in my life. I remember there was this one kid who said he was allergic to peanuts, which was crazy to me. How could anyone be allergic to as special a snack as peanut? For a long time, I didn't even know what a peanut looked like. It wasn't until my sophomore year of high school that one of my friends told me that a peanut is a small round object that has little divots in it. So at least at that point I knew what I was looking for. So I kept that image in my mind and carried it with me for seven more years until one day I was walking through the fields of a peanut farm and I stumbled across a peanut of my very own. Since I found my peanut, my life has changed for the better in so many ways. For one thing, now I have a peanut. I used to not have one. I guess if I could go back and tell my younger self one thing, it would be that it's never too late for peanut discovery. I'm Dave, and this is my peanut story.